On to the other big story, India waits with bated breath for the third lunar mission, the Chandrayaan-3, set to launch tomorrow. The countdown for the launch will begin this afternoon as India aims to become the fourth country to land on the moon. But for many Indians, the memory of Chandrayaan-2 not being able to complete the landing mission successfully in September. September 2019 is still fresh. ISRO knows that those that fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And so this time it's an all new significantly improvised lander Vikram. Here's what has changed. Stronger legs. Vikram will have stronger legs than its previous avatar. This means landing at greater velocities than earlier will be possible. More fuel. This is to prepare for eventualities, deal with disruptions and essentially provide more cushion to handle the mission. A new sensor will look at lunar terrain to ensure better movement. The next improvisation is on the tech front, new software to be able to tackle failures like engine disruption, sensor failures and more. ISRO has removed the central or fifth engine which was added last minute during Chandrayaan 2 to augment the weight of the lander. All this uh, will need more power. ISRO has extended solar panels and more panel area to generate greater power. So much that Vikram will have enough power even if it lands in an orientation not facing the sun. New antennas have gone into the lander which will also help it navigate more accurately. This C event is very, very important with respect to multiple dimensions, directions point of view. Uh, one is, uh, yes, we have shown to the world a historical mission Chandrayaan 1. A follow on uh, logical was a soft landing on the moon, but unfortunately we could not make it. So uh, in that series, definitely it is time for us to prove, yes, a Chandrayaan 1 is not an isolated success. We can do it once again. So that way Chandrayaan uh, 3 soft landing and doing an institute analysis on the moon is a paramount importance for India to, to show uh, it is not an isolated success Chandrayaan 1, we can do it. Point two is once again get back to the, the whole of India. What we have gathered with Chandrayaan 1 followed by Mangalyaan, I think that same spirit I think we can take the people uh, away up there. Beyond all these things, internationally look at here, the whole world is uh, looking as back to the moon. After we created the failure modes, then we strengthened with the modification. And with that modification, that again it has gone through detailed uh, testing, analysis and found that everything is in order. So we are not depending on any other country to do this uh, work, that we have done everything indigenously. Orbiter this time is not there. This time that is uh, the earlier we had that orbiter, lander and rover. This time instead of orbiter that we have a propulsion module, that is orbiter contains a propulsion module plus some scientific instruments. So, so the scientific instruments are not there, only propulsion module is there. And uh, also along with that, uh, lantern and rover are also there in this mission. In fact, uh, India's uh, third mission to the moon aims to achieve what its predecessor could not. The lander on Chandrayaan-3 aims to land softly on the lunar surface at a specified lunar site, after which the rover's responsibility is to explore the site and conduct on-site chemical analysis of the surface. The mission will last for one lunar day, equivalent to 14 days on Earth. This whole mission is expected to take around 42 days with the landing slated for August 23rd at the lunar dawn as the rover cannot survive the extreme drop in temperatures during lunar nights. Now this mission which is going to take place on 14th, uh, the 14th early morning, will take off. And by August 22nd, it is going to go around the moon where the lander will be landing on the moon, on the north side of the moon, and thereafter a rover will be coming out from that. The lander and the rover have a life of one moon day. That is 14 days on Earth. And that would be a life in which, firstly, there will be a proof of how soft landing can be done on the moon, which Chandrayaan 2 Vikram lander could not do. We are very sure this Vikram lander will do it. Thereafter, the rover will prove how rovers can be maneuvered around in the moon and certain tests will also be carried out there.
Ahead of the mega launch, a team of ISRO scientist team visited Tirupati Temple in Tamil Nadu. Scientists came with a miniature model of Chandrayaan 3 to offer prayers and seek blessings. Right, so India awaits uh, for the third lunar mission, Chandrayaan 3, all set to launch tomorrow. In fact, the countdown has begun as India aims to become the fourth country to land on the moon. In fact, uh, for many Indians, the memory of uh, Chandrayaan 2 not being able to complete uh, the mission is still fresh. Uh, so, ISRO has, uh, in fact, made uh, several improvisations uh, in terms of uh, stronger legs than its previous avatar this means landing at greater velocities than earlier will be possible more fuel and of course uh, improvisation on the tech front as well we have uh, deepak joining us on the story deepak chandrayaan 3 is india's third mission to the moon take us through the preparations and how significant a milestone this is for india's space program and if you were to compare to chandrayaan 2 what have been the lessons learned by isro and improvisations implemented well of course definitely uh, it's a big step uh, for india's uh, you know uh, overall growth in the space sector considering the fact that geopolitically as well it becomes so much more important considering uh, you have multiple missions to the moon that uh, you know even uh, china has undertaken uh, we also know that you know leading countries in aerospace like uh, the United States or Russia as well, of course, have made great advancements. In fact, even uh, humans have been uh, taken to the moon. But uh, India, of course, uh, is taking uh, big steps uh, considering uh, you know uh, the challenges, of course, that they've had. Also, uh, realizing all the other aspects are uh, to Indian aerospace too. We should note that uh, the Chandrayaan one, of course, was a success too. Uh, was uh, only towards the end there was a you know error that uh, led to the soft landing not happening this time of course the focus will be to land the uh, you know rover uh, safely on the surface of the moon and then of course to carry out that experiment uh, till and when uh, the rover is able to actually move around and send signals back uh, to uh, you know the mission control here in uh, Bengaluru more importantly at this point in time all Necessary precautions have been taken. Uh, all experiments, of course, which had to be conducted before the launch have been done. And more importantly, of course, the countdown begins today and the launch happens tomorrow. This is, of course, expected post 2 p.m. Um, so everyone, of course, is waiting, uh, uh, you know, with uh, uh, a lot of eagerness to uh, hope that the launch is successful. And more importantly, of course, August is when we are expecting the landing to happen. And um, all eyes, of course, uh, will be on the landing as well because that is where things went wrong. Lessons have been learned as well. The ISRO chairman and various other uh, you know scientists who right. are involved in this particular project continue to tell us. All right, all eyes on the mission tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Deepak, for all those details.